they're trying to uh, make it where I cannot use the restream app to stream this out to all the different platforms in fact I have restream going and streaming to YouTube so I don't know if it's gonna mess up it's showing in the green but I mean I'm actually streaming to uh, we're streaming to YouTube D live twitch and the above ground world news Facebook page for some reason they won't let me stream to my regular Facebook page or YouTube through the multi streaming app they they did something today they changed something I cannot get to the dashboard I was actually able to get there through a link on the Ustream app to be able to at least change the thumbnail and the title and uh, anyway it seems to be working so we're gonna get into this just like we said in the 16 door day forecast tornado we have tornado warnings all over the place southern Missouri Arkansas Louisiana Mississippi I mean tornadoes are going everywhere let's go ahead and click the warnings Jacksonville Mississippi Little Rock Arkansas another one from Jacksonville Springfield Missouri Shreveport Louisiana Springfield Missouri so tons of tornado they turn the wind machine on we have blizzard warnings we have winter storm watches we have the wind weapon is on and wait till you see the bunker fuel operation today they're setting up for the oh hey look at this down here off the coast of where are we at here the coast of South Carolina North Carolina getting totally smacked down it started out I mean look at these weird spraying operations man what is this stuff what did they do out here well all these weird sprays they just got heavier and heavier I mean we're talking super grid super outbreak right here off the coast goes all the way up through West Virginia Virginia Ohio into Indiana and let me see if I can get this check out the bunker fuel operations today this is insane all these white squiggly lines these are bunker fuel being deployed for the next storm the storm that could bring up to a hundred inches of snow check that out so they're really ramped things up since yesterday so big time spraying up from the ocean and the skies and then of course they have all the weather modification tools on land the water cloud ionizers the water generating look at this cyclone you know what is this thing what is this what is that hopefully this will load before the end of the show so we can see what's at the end of that so they're going full geo storm on us fires broke out earlier it looks like it doesn't look like there's a whole lot of fires right now I mean we're seeing only three fires through the chem fog here and right now we have severe storms just to my south Let's go ahead and jump in, do a couple things, and we'll get back into the weather. Did you shoot at a cell tower worker, ma'am? Susan Moose is charged with assault with a deadly weapon. All right, so this lady, man, this lady, a new North Carolina woman, opens fire on the cell phone tower workers. This happened on today. She's accused of shooting at the workers on the cell phone tower. None of the workers were hit, but authorities say it isn't the first time they've had a run-in with this woman. But the lady said the cell phone tires were talking to her. Yeah, she's hearing voices from that tower. They're sending signals, this type of thing. It concerns me she has a weapon. Anyway, her name's Susan Moose. Look at the size of her hands. Is that really a lady? 
me look here. Hmm. Anyway, so uh, she pops off a couple shots. Miss Moose here was armed with two axes. She barricaded herself inside her home right across the street from the cell phone tower. Well, if you're that close to a cell phone tower, she may have been hearing voices from the tower. Did you know that the tower can hear you? Check this out. Doppler radar identifies speech over long distances and it's used for search and rescue. People don't even know this. Speech is the most important form of communication in our daily lives. Our voices can even save us whether we're lost in dense forests or trapped in the wake of a natural disaster. Now researchers from California State University Fresno had developed a way to detect voices even over long distances through barriers. Using Doppler radar with deep convolutional neural networks. The signatures produced through the vibrations of humans' vocal cords generate unique micro Doppler signatures. California State University said these signatures can be used to classify and recognize different words and letters. Now, your voice sounds are produced by vibrations. I'm not going to get into all that. But the transmitted wave from the Doppler radar is reflected by the human skin, which allows it to be measured and analyzed for voiceless sounds. Micro Doppler signatures can be produced within electromagnetic waves from the movement of the lips and tongue. One researcher established that the radar was able to recognize words and sounds. They used a wooden plank as a barrier to eva evaluate through the object. So to think that they can listen to you no matter where you're hiding in the woods with these Dopplers, what makes you think they cannot send words into your mind? That's the voice of God, you're right. They use this same weapon out in Iraq. And when you go looking into Nexrads and Dopplers and the frequencies, the electromagnetic waves or radiation interference with the brain function. Definitely radiation is energy. Research findings provide at least some information concerning how specific types may influence biological tissue, including that of the brain. In some cases, the effect may be therapeutic, for example, transcranial magnetic stimulation. There's typically differentiate between the effects of ionizing radiation such as far ultraviolet X-ray and gamma ray, non-ionizing radiation. So this is all, you know, the voice of God technology. Now you're going to have the 5G that can also listen through barriers. They can also send the waves out. Let me close some of these out as we go. So I went way back. I went back to 1984 because that's where we're at right now. We're in the movie 1984. We're in the book. <clears throat> the next generation weather radar prog programmatic environmental impact statement. This is coming from the Department of Commerce, the U.S. Department of Defense, and the Department of Transportation back in July 2nd, 1985. This is where they're talking about the environmental impact of the next rads. So it's just got, you know, also the National Weather Service. So you got all these in here. And you can go back and see the electromagnetic environment, the bi biophysical environment, and all kinds of information on this. And... I didn't get to highlight what I wanted to go through, so let me just see if I can find it here. And I will put here, I'll post this link into the chat so you can bookmark this. Uh, it's too big. It won't let me post it. It's too big. Man, it's ridiculous how we cannot even post a link. 
it has to be under 200 characters man it's just this crap the censorship that's going on is really getting under my nerves and I'm trying to get down where they talk about some of the frequencies so let's see here yeah it talks about the the effects of the next red significant effects on plants or animals are not expected to result from the RFR emitted during operation of the next red well we got to get down to the the main beam exposure potentially affected by the main beam or airborne fought man i can't even see it hold on let me zoom in on this a little bit this is pretty little can i zoom in there we go now i can read it all right ejelock ege ecological interest or birds and the insects involved in pollinization as discussed, the, the literature suggests that biological effects not necessarily hazardous are possible at average power densities. That's still not where I wanted to read. Okay, for local airborne, minor effects may occur in or near the field. The RFR from Nexrad might tend to cause birds to avoid the antenna site. And on the other hand, birds might learn to seek out the RFR for warmth during cold weather. Well, radiation is frying them. Man, I can't. There's so many pages here. I'm trying to get down where I had it. I should have highlighted it. Effects on telecommunication radio location systems talks about all the frequencies that they use see a lot of this is saying there is no hazards but then on the other hand they say there is anyway I'll go through the I think it was way down if I remember right here Man, it's a long article. Interference from emitters of electromagnetic energy. Details of the requirements are contained. Electromagnetic emissions. And requirements for the control of the electromagnetic interference when tested by being subjected to specific specified radiated field strengths. The equipment is not to exhibit any malfunctions, deg degradation, I can't talk tonight, a performance, blah, blah, blah. Man, I can't find it. All right, I'll, I'll go through this. I'll have to break this down. Then you got the electromagnetic fields and public health, radars and human health. So we got all this information that talks about, you know, the military radars. What kind of kilowatts they're using human exposure the power that radar system emits vary and from a few milliwatts police traffic control radar to many kilowatts large space tracking radars however have a number of factors significantly reduce human exposure to rf often by a factor of at least 100 well they you know they might have been trying to keep it from uh, cranking them on unless they need them unless they need them for the weather and now you got the 5G now you got the millimeter waves here's an estimation and reduction of weather radar safety distances now they're saying that the frequencies are running at 2750 megahertz the peak power is 750 kilowatts and I will try to put all these links into the description after the show here so you can get in here and uh, get into some of this stuff if you want to learn about these things 
lowering the minimum scan angles of the weather surveillance radars. I mean, this is all about the radars, all this stuff that I had out. And then you have the UN Sustainability Conference in Salt Lake City pushing some dangerous agendas. NGOs from around the world are gathering at Salt Lake City where the August... Wait, is it? Yeah, this is August 24th. So this was already done. This is where they had the... Uh, pretty sure this is where the UN was kicking the media out. All right. Give me a second here. I didn't get... I had other articles to pull up, but... I just didn't get have have time with the uh, with all the craziness going on with YouTube, so I'll bring in just a couple more articles and we'll get into the weather stuff because there's a couple other articles I'd like to just jump in real quick. We just try to get them brought up. Wind gusts still near 100 miles an hour. Bomb cyclone could break record as it slams into the west coast, bringing 100 miles an hour wind conditions. So this come out today, you know, and we warned people two weeks ago for this very storm. But yet the mainstream media doesn't tell you to the day of. Did anybody hear about these storms other than here from above ground? No. Also coming out of the C dot. Just stay home. Two rock slide closes I 70 between uh, Colorado and uh, Kansas. Plus it's it's a it's a blizzard there right now. So this is just some crazy stuff going on. Whoa, got that closed down just in time. Now there's this other quick link here let me make sure it don't start so there was a uh, mainstream let me get this over here the CBC news now what they're talking about is the earth is set to warm by 3.2 Celsius man they're they're gonna push this climate change <coughs> madness like they're going to make it so catastrophic and then they're going to push the UN agenda when we know it's all fabricated weather. But yeah, they're going to use every bit of weather warfare to push their agenda across. And we just got to keep people, let them know that this is manufactured. Just don't give in. Don't shelter in place. Don't let them get this over on the people. I mean, the politicians are bad enough. Now they want to bring the, the UN type stuff in here. I mean, Al Gore, how'd that go? How'd his predictions go? They didn't go too good. Make sure we are still streaming here. All right, let's go ahead and get off that. I don't want that thing to pop back up. Let's just go ahead and jump into some radars and stuff. And here we are looking at the watches and warnings. And we have tons of blizzard warnings. Well, the white would be the blizzard. We got winter storm warnings in the purple. Hey, thanks out there, Teresa. We got tornado warnings in the south. We got flood warnings in the yellow. And they don't even have a warning for the wind. You know, we're talking 60 to 100 mile an hour winds going all across the United States, man. It's a wind weapon. We, we warned about this weeks ago. Well, here it is. It's here. Part of the weather plan. So let's go ahead. I mean, I don't know if you can hear the wind in the background, man. It's blowing tree limbs into the house as we speak. We're getting pounded by walnuts and hickory nuts and acorns. Yeah, I just figure I better jump on here early because uh, 
I didn't know if the weather was going to let us stream at 9, so I wanted to try to get some of this information out. Yeah, it's raining acorns at my house. For sure. All right, so we, we have this just spraying operations all over the country. Go ahead and take these off. Uh, there we go. All right, so we got that one up and going. Let me go ahead. And show this one more time. Here's the new bunker fuel operation out here in the Pacific. You got tons of aerosols coming from the ships. I mean, these are big old fat liners. Spraying this. I mean, there's tons of ships out here. Look at this. They're all in the same line coming out of the Bering Sea. All of them are in this line. Yesterday, they were over here. Now today they're over here. They're right in between these systems, loading it up. Still not, the map still just not loaded, man. I really want to see what's at the end of this thing. Yeah, because that's just weird. Look at what the heck is this? I want to see what the end of that is. Like I said, I'm not really seeing no big fire warnings here in California. I mean, we got one little spot right here. Pretty cloud covered. Got a little fire here around the Santa Barbara area. It's actually cloudy here. I mean, we're so used to it being sunny. Yeah, that one's putting off some pretty good smoke. Looks like they have it aimed right for Santa Barbara. So maybe we can check that out on the ram slider a little bit better. So yeah, okay, we got uh, plenty of spraying going on in Northern California up to Nevada, through Oregon, Washington, want to look up there by Canada I mean it's so cloud cover it's really hard to see the aerosol campaigns but I mean, we can still see and we can see the frequencies look at that big old thick liner so tons of aerosols being deployed into the backside all the way down to into the uh, Bajas And then Florida is just getting waxed right now. South Carolina completely waxed. And I, I don't even know what kind of spraying operation you would call this. This is a new one. Some kind of a, uh, man, I'm about to come up with a name for these. This is a different kind of spray. It's like they're dumping out little dots of aerosols. And then it's just drifting away. Super. I mean, this is nuts right here. It looks like a, a schematic of an earthquake or something. So they're doing some definite funky business out here off the coast. Maybe it's the winds just blowing it so hard. I mean, look at this mess out here. Toxic colors. Super grids. You really think there's this many flights out here you got them doing u-turns <clears throat> just the color of this is scary looking just because we don't know what's in there i mean here's some more guys out here we got fat short ones we got long thick ones we got double ones like they're throwing the whole heinz 57 at us So, wow, that's a crazy spray job. And then, of course, Florida is getting waxed. So,
So mega spray got ahead of this system. Look at this Charleston, man. They got hammered. So we're all going to feel this, man. They're going to, we're going to be all drained of our energy. Then the cold front's going to come in and we're just not going to feel like doing anything. Look at that steering of that atmospheric river. They're steering this atmospheric river all the way up from the Antarctic. So normally there's a bunch of heavy spray in Argentina and Chile. It looks like they're getting a little bit of a break. We just see if there's any bunker fuel out here in the Atlantic. All right, not seeing nothing super major. But we do have a new spraying operation out here in the Mediterranean Sea. Look at them nasty liners of the sky. All over out here. So we got, you know, pretty bad spraying operations. Yeah, we'll check the stratospheric warming. We'll check that, see if they're get. I don't think they're going to do that to the end of the month. But we can always go check on the Earth now. Major spraying over Italy. Goes all the way up to Germany. Remember the freak spray over Moscow? Now look at it, man. It's, it's just, I mean, this looks weird. Like, what's wrong with these clouds? Are these clouds or is this snow cover? I can't even tell. So the operation that was over Israel yesterday is now up over past Turkey into the Black Sea. So you got mega spray. There's some toxic looking stuff out here too. It's a nasty looking color. Nasty aerosols. You know, we wonder why we're all sick. We wonder why we, we have to try all these different products to try to feel normal. It's because we're getting slammed by the air. Let's go check uh, Australia and New Zealand. Remember that, uh, remember the swirling vortex out here of the, the algae bloom or something like, look, it's still here. Look, it's even a bigger, like coma shape. Let's go back to yesterday. Look at that. Here's our vortex. It looks like an eyeball of algae bloom and it's just spinning out here at the bottom of the ocean. So that's just some weird stuff going on down here off the coast of New Zealand. Look at it. It's spinning clockwise. And we go up to today. Try to get the cloud covers up. Look how it's like even bigger now. <coughs> Still spinning. And you also have some aerosols going on. And I'm sure they're going to be hitting the Christchurch area. That's where they always spray. Also, North New Zealand looks like the South New Zealand's getting hit right now. And let's go check on the fires. So hopefully this rain. Wow, look at that. That's a bad fire. That's a lot of fires. So hopefully the rain will put that out. I mean, look at that. That's like an explosion. Look at the gray. You, I've showed you pictures the other day of all the ash on the beaches. This is incineration going on down here in Australia. I mean, come on. Look at these long clouds. Normal clouds. Does that look like a normal, long, straight line cloud? And it just comes out of nowhere. Look at that. You don't think they're using some Nexrad or some satellite weaponry to get that cloud to be perfectly straight when the motion of these systems 
are not even going in that direction. Crazy stuff out here. Another pretty good fire up to the north. Then we got even more fires. I, they're burning this off to the coast, man. They're they're making way for the new high speed railway. Look at these grid fires. That is just insane what they're getting away with. Look at that. I mean, this, these things are so bad, they're creating their own weather. You got another long line signature. You know, what are these? What kind of dumps are these? So pray for the people down here in Australia. Look, I mean, this the winds are going, you know, south, southeast, just big time. Then the wind changes directions and they just explode. So, wow, that's a really bad fire right there. So, Yamba, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Now, we had bunker fuel operations down here yesterday. These are really hard to pick up down here. You usually got to use the ram slider unless it's just a blatant operation so fire is going on all over australia it looks like the worst ones though are down here in the south and east yeah i'm in missouri the wind just got here right before i started the show and uh Wow, look at all the fires going on in Papua New Guinea. Could be volcanic. And what is this strange color clouds out here in the Solomon Sea? So that might have just been a stitching error. Wow, is Guam starting to fabricate another weather system? We'll have to check that out on the radars. Looks like they may be trying to set up another system. Now we can see yesterday the bunker fuel operations were really light. There's only like three or four ships out here. Just south of the Aleutian Island chain. So, and then we let's go to today just to show you again what they're doing out here. Because it's nuts. We have the cyclone system hitting the west coast right now. But look at all these ships. Where the hell did all these ships come from? What port are all these ships come from? I'm going to do a highlight. There's also chemtrails going across there. So they're coming. It looks like from the out of the Bering Sea. Yep, look. They're all coming up from Alaska. So there must be a bunch of weather modification ships up in Alaska and they're coming all down all these fat yellow lines that go from a point into a big billowing line these are all the toxic emissions from the weather modification ships the bunker fuel and they're everywhere out here so they went from none for a couple days to a little bit yesterday and now they're full <coughs> they're all loaded up they're all loaded up. They're not out here fishing. They're out here creating a cloud deck. They're doing some cloud brightening, cloud whitening. They're trapping the heat in, in the Arctic. Oh yeah, wow, our video output's really low. It could be because I'm trying to stream to all the different platforms. Hopefully, it will pick back up. Oh, I got that running. That could be a issue. That one's not running. Let me go ahead and close down some of these articles that could be affecting us. Oh, 
All right, there it's back. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, yeah, screw tube is really screwing with this, trying to keep us where we can't use the restream, which is just ridiculous. We'll see if we can pick them up on the west coast of giant bunker fuel operation man it's going to be way over there i don't know if we'll be able to pick it up but we'll give it a shot if not we could use the ram slider and get it let's put this on so we know they're coming out of the aleutian island chains here let me just see if we can Pick them up. There they all are right there. And then we got to get back to the next day. Look, look at all of them coming down from the Aleutian Island chain. Look at all them ships out there. Insane. Look, they are just keep coming. There's a whole fleet of ships. out. I mean, there's just hundreds of them probably. Holy crap. And watch this thing just spin up. Look, there's also bunker fuel down here. I can see them, a few of them. And then all of a sudden you get a spinning cyclonic. That's basically a hurricane hitting the right on the border of California and Oregon. Let's go check that on the earth now. It's a hurricane, man. It's a hurricane on the west coast, but they call it a bombogenesis or something stupid. Put it back on now. I mean, this is a hurricane. <clears throat> That's a hurricane. That's the surface winds. In fact, let's we'll see what the surface winds are. 65 knots let's get it 75 miles an hour it's a hurricane that's a hurricane that they're not calling a hurricane let me look at the tropical cyclone page they're just calling it a, a invest trying to get this to load so yeah they're just calling it invest area 90e it's a freaking hurricane it's got 75 mile an hour winds it's past the 74 mile an hour threshold it's at 76 77 let's check the wave heights thirty eight foot waves thirty seven point six 35.6 36.1 this is a hurricane there's a hurricane hitting the west coast right now and they won't admit to it so definitely it's definitely a hurricane but they're not going to call it a hurricane they're going to call it a bombogenesis. Uh, what'd you say around Sacramento? We'll see. Let's go look. So where is Sacramento? Is that south of Los Angeles or north? I'm not sure where that is. We put the fire zones back on. Yeah, Obama Genesis. I just thought about that, or I've seen it there in chat. Obama Genesis. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, you probably just had a transformer blowout. We're going to be seeing power outages. Hell, we, we can go check the power outage map right now. Let me go to the client viewer to do this. I'll go check the power outage maps and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and go to the... All right, we're looking for... We could put the wind. We, we know it's windy. I want to find... Hey, thanks out there, Kim. Much love out there. I want to see if we can find the power outage map. I'm pretty sure it's on here. I just got to figure out which tab it's under. So this might take me a minute to try to find this. Here we got the wind velocities. Let's put that on there where I'm looking. Alright, looking for the power outage maps. I know I've got it up from here before. Alright, I'll probably just have to do a search. All right, yeah, I'll just have to do a search for it. And I'm going to take that off. All right. All right, let's try to find the power outage map. wonder why they're not calling it a hurricane or a cyclone what's the deal so right now California with a hundred and eight thousand outages Oklahoma with 14,000 Oregon with 6,000 Missouri with almost 3,000 Texas with 2,600 out like it is just showing the whole state of California is showing a major event He's, uh, let me see. Yeah, I think I can scroll over. Main customer is out one. How could you only have one? Customer is out two in New Hampshire. 97 out in New York. Now we got to go down in here where the storms are. 205 out in Louisiana. 2,000 out in Arkansas. 856 out in Tennessee, 555 in uh, Mississippi, 141 in Kentucky, 1700 in Alabama, 80 in Georgia, 632 in Florida, 50 in Georgia or South Carolina, 330 in North Carolina, Virginia, 145. 2200 in Illinois, 411 in Iowa, 864 in Kansas, 286 in Nebraska, 3 in Wyoming, 118. So they got the blizzard going over here and hardly any power outages. 86 in New Mexico, 183. We got 6,000 out in Oregon. How come it's not shaded? Washington, 212 out. None in Hawaii. Oh, six six peoples without power in Hawaii. 
None in Alaska. So this thing updates every 10 minutes. So we'll check it again here in a minute. Whoa, what's wrong with this? Okay, there it goes. So here's all our watches and warnings. What's the orange? I don't know what the orange is. Whoa, that's weird. It won't let me, it won't tell me what it is. Well, that's no good. Does it tell me what any of these are? Mm. Let's see if I can get the, uh, All right, this isn't helping me a whole lot right now. Because it's not giving me the color codes, what they mean. Let's just go to the National Weather Service. Hey, no problem. No, we, I try to cover everywhere. I mean, it's just impossible because everything is going on at once. So the orange is the blizzard warning. So we have Southwest Oregon and Northern California under a blizzard warning. Fairbanks, Alaska is under a winter storm warning. We have tornado watches all through Missouri, Mississippi, and parts of Louisiana. The yellow is the tornado watches. We have an avalanche watch. And then pretty much everybody is under a wind advisory. What's the dark brown? Yeah, almost everybody's under high wind watches. Hawaii is under the gale warnings. High surf advisories over in Alaska. Who Do they surf in Alaska? I was wrong about the mosquitoes, I guess. Which is really crazy to me. Because I wouldn't think mosquitoes would live that far north, but I hear they're everywhere in Alaska, everywhere in Maine. But yet, you know, I live right here in this area, and we had no mosquitoes this year. Like, all the bugs are dying, and there is no mosquitoes. I'm just going to try clicking on one of these, see what it does. Wow, what's all this crap? Strong winds, heavy snow down to 2,000 feet, all areas passes affected. Numerous showers. So we got blizzard warnings. Winter storm warnings, high wind warnings, we got it all. Oh, we see the fog imagery. I never see that one. The chem fog. Yeah, I'm just wondering, maybe it's because I got so many chickens. Maybe that's why I don't have mosquitoes. Yeah, I've I seen the cave fire. I don't think it's still burning. I mean, might be. We can check it. You 
you know, I, I go by the smoke and stuff on the maps so I can tell, you know, if it's a bad fire, it'll look like it, what's going on in Australia. So five hours ago, evacuations reduced. They're saying the fire is at 4,262 acres. So it's, you know, not a whole lot more than it was the day before. So it's got to be more than 10% contained. Now I can pull that up on the, the, uh, on the climate viewer. Yeah, I go by the, the smoke, man. If I'm seeing smoke, then I can confirm there's a major fire, but if there's no smoke and just a little red dot there, then you know it's not blazing that bad. You know, I don't go by what the news or other YouTube channels go. I go by what we see. Let's go to the fires. And then I also want to put on, <coughs> you know, the smoke advisories, and that'll tell you even more if there's a bad fire going. We'll put that on too. And then we'll put on the smoke detection. And we'll check it out. You know, it's going to be hard to. Yeah, there's the Saint. See, that's the fire we've seen the smoke. See, we can confirm this one. But if, you know. Some channels out here are like looking at little blips saying they're explosions, which is not true at all. But look at that grid fire. That's a grid. And we can confirm that fire because we've seen the smoke. Still no fires are burning like down in Australia. I mean, we can go look. We picked that one up earlier. We can put the fire zone on and we can get the map to the clearest day possible or the clearest, which is right here. So yeah, we can see the smoke coming off this fire and it's blowing pretty much straight for Santa Barbara. And then we should be able to tell how big this fire is. Click on a couple of these. Yeah, it's not really telling me the the size or anything. We'll try this one. So the cave fire published by Google Crisis Response. Okay, it was updated 15 minutes ago. see what kind of information we can get on this so is this all they're gonna give us I mean is this it they're just they just drew on here like hey here's the circle well Google surely you could do better than this I mean come on what is this Somebody hand drew that on this map and we're not getting, let's see if it's on the about cave fire. We'll try a different link. So that's all you're getting. They're just drew on a line. Here's details. There is no details. Here's Santa Barbara. 
and they don't have this must be forest or something they're not naming any uh this is the painted cave historic historic park so if this fire goes straight on down the way the wind's blowing it's gonna head for the foothill area hope area santa roque wonder if i can't even put this on a can i put it on terrain yes yeah, satellite there we go now we can kind of see so this fire would have a long ways to go before it hits any neighborhoods right now it's in a canyon which there probably is people up here fracking zones or something so looks like it's definitely sparse if there's homes up here but I mean it's hard to tell I can't tell if these are like neighborhoods or just rocks no like real defined roads or anything they look like ledges of cliff rocks Yeah, so that's pretty much in this big old canyon right here. So it's got a long ways before it hits any major cities. And really, there's hardly any vegetation down here. So you know, what is all this? Some kind of farmlands? Maybe they're going for the farmlands. Let me see what is this place. Yeah, it said, uh, ah, it's oil or something here. You got big tankers. It's definitely some kind of farm, but also you have a bunch of tanks. So that's some kind of fertilizer or something. Check this one out. So the so we have I guess some are watches and a few warnings. Look, they have the whole damn area under a warning. And we'll try this one. We'll just try all these different little apps see which one shows it the best these are just the watches and warnings let's get that off there we go back so like it let's see if there's any news one day ago two hours ago Cave fire burns 4,200 acres, threatening homes in Santa Barbara. Winds expected to increase till midnight. 38 minutes ago, cave fire heat resistant blankets protecting nearby century old Kamash painted cave artworks. One day ago, six hours ago. So, not a lot of news coming out about this like it's not even telling us if it's contained anymore let me just click it and see nice thumbnail there i'm going to save that one All right, get out of here. It's like froze up on me.
Oh. All right, so we're not really getting any kind of of uh, good information out. Shortly after noon, about 4,000 residents in far eastern area of the evacuation zone, the largest selection of displaced home homeowners were al allowed to return. They were warned that many arriving to the homes without electricity, large swaths of Santa Barbara County, including unincorporated areas between Gioletta and Santa Barbara along Highway 154 through Mission Canyon and parts of the Summerlin and Carpinteria are expecting power outages because of the fire. Guess we could always try Twitter and see and put in cave fire. See if we got any information. Twenty one hours ago, I just clicked the latest. Thirty two seconds ago. Breaking news. Cave fire map. We'll click that and see what it comes out like. Remember, they just got all the the helicopters and the planes. Only minor growth in the Santa Barbara County's cave fire. So it looks like, you know, it's not too bad right this second. As far as whatever news I'm trying to get out and that thing didn't open that link did not open try another one the wind calmed down pretty good so it was just like a super big time gust front right at the beginning So this one's saying a little bit smaller amount, 3,800 acres. And these are just uh, basically thumbnails. I'm trying to get to the map. I just want the map. Well, I guess they're not going to give us the map. I guess that's just their thumbnail making you think it's a fire map. Clickbait. So there's still people tweeting about it, but... So, uh, Santa Barbara wildfire burns 3,000 acres in five hours. 4,000 acres. See, who knows? Just got to go by what we see as far as I'm concerned. So this one's saying it, it's went to uh, 4,000 acres and that's coming out of the UK. How come there's like no American news right here? All right, that's all junk. And this isn't giving us what we need. Like anything, it's like impossible to try to get information anymore I mean we should have real time let's try this ram slider we'll be able to see the smoke on there we'll just see for ourselves because we can't get the the I already have it loaded so let me put this on the fire anomalies 
and we'll get the real picture let's put this on the fire natural color fire temperature map <coughs> All right, we're just waiting on it to load. Let me try something here. Hey, thanks out there, Alice. Thanks for uh, supporting us. Yeah, if you're buffering, you might try to uh, just refresh the page. I mean, we're all in the green, so it seems like it's streaming fine, even though I'm streaming to Restream and to YouTube at the same time, which it sucks that I have to do that. We got 1,017 people on the YouTube watching. We got 30 people over on the DLive, two people on Twitch, and 13 people on the above ground page. Thanks, uh, Juanita. All right, is this thing gonna load? Look, it's only loading like over here. What is going on with this? Let me put it on every 20 minutes. That'll give us a, hopefully a better picture. There we go. Now it's looking pretty nice. Whoa, what is that? Look at that brown. What is that? Oh, that's an island. I was like, what is that? It's going so fast. Look at the aerosols. They're they're deploying aerosols over the fire zone. I can see them. You guys might not be able to see them, but I'm trying to find the right layer so we can really pick this up. Let me try this one. And then let me get my bearings here. So yeah, we're right off that. I need to go a little farther north. Oh no, it's right there. So the fire should be right around this area tons of aerosols being deployed couldn't see him look at the aerosols right going right into the fire zone yeah i'm just trying to catch the fire smoke Oh, there's natural fire. Okay, I finally found. I, I clicked the wrong fire there, I think. Let me go every hour because it's just not a. Uh, it's not giving us the stuff here. Oh, there it is. Look, it finally showed up. So here is our little red dot. This is 1126 at 1636. Here's 1736. Look, the fire started going out, but what is that? 
Man, I hope you guys can see what I'm seeing. Oh, and it just went away. So look, the fire just goes out. Like, I mean, it's just barely going. Let me back this out a little bit. The fire has to be dwindled down a little bit. Like here's when it first started, or at least 1836 UTC time, 1936, it was at its biggest point at 2036 UTC time, and then it really dwindled down at 2136. Here's 22, it's not even showing it. 23, not showing it. Here's zero UTC time, not showing it. Let's try the night time to see if it comes in. I don't get it on this one. Here, let's try the, uh, the other radar. Put this one on the natural fire killer, and then we're going to zoom in on that area. Get a better picture of it. Yeah, YouTube's really screwing with everything tonight. They, they like I couldn't even stream like I normally do. Yeah, you can definitely see the little red spot earlier today. And I think I, let me try the enhancement. It might not work. Yeah, there it is. So that brings it out really good. So we can see early, early today around 11, 11 UTC time. It was really blazing, kind of went down and it's kind of back up. And now it's dwindling down. It's going back up. And it's underneath the cloud deck. So maybe it got rained on. And it's starting to go out right there. It looks like a pretty big fire. I'm going to see if I can get. That's probably as close as I can get. Let me try this upper one. Let's see if that helps us out. So it's right here in the bottom. If you guys can see that. So it could have got rained on. Now we're just, it's kind of hard. You guys probably can't even see that. Let me uh, go back down where I was. A little better for you guys to be able to see it. Yeah, so it's right there up in the north part here. Definitely showing up as a pretty good fire, but then it's showing it's gone out. Let's go ahead and check. Let's reload the power outage map. It's going to probably be a big night for outages. So right now, California with 116,836 people without power. Oklahoma, 13,630. Oregon, 5,927. Missouri has more now, 4,591. Texas, 2,620. None in Idaho, 19 in Utah, 183, Arizona, 87, New Mexico, 34, Colorado. I can't believe that they're having a blizzard and hardly any power outages. 
quite a few in Illinois, 2,265, 1,800 in Tennessee. I mean, we got, you know, wicked weather going through right here. You got 1,700 in Alabama, 1,800 Tennessee. Now, what was I wanting to look at? I just wanted to look at something. Let's go check the radar over there. There's a radar right where the fire is. Yeah, all the snow has been uh, ice nucleated. It don't melt. It burns black. It's fake snow. You know, whatever happened to the acid rain? What'd they do to the acid rain? That was a big scare in the Al Gore times and even before that. So it looks like there's a little bit of precipitation headed right for the fire zone. Now, will they let it put it out? I don't know. It looks like possibly there will be some rain putting that fire out. There's the fire right there. Look at that. You can see it. Let me Let me zoom in on that. The fire is right there. I've seen it. So how could I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom right here. Hold on. Zoom. Look at that. It looks like a blowtorch. All right, so here's our fire right where my mouse is. If you can see that, see the little flume coming out. So there's a good flume and then it goes away. So it looks like they, to me, it looks like they had the fire pretty well under control right now. No more flumes. You had that one initial flume and now it's uh, going out. Let me get this a little bigger. Oregon. Yeah, we'll look at Oregon too. We look look at Oregon. Is there... Yeah, I definitely see it right there. Let me turn my enhancement on so we can pick it up a little brighter. So there it is. Right where the radar signature showed it. The cloud cover come in. And that's as far as we can load. So it's, and look, I can see aerosols being deployed right over the fire. Let's go up north. Let's see if we spot any hot spots up here. Maybe too cloud covered. So nothing showing up here. Let's go up towards Washington. Little fire right there. Nothing major. Man, that's a hurricane. That's a that's a hurricane. Yeah, that's weird. I didn't have the AGWN channel going that I know of. 
uh, I don't know. YouTube's got everything screwed up. Hopefully I can figure it out and get it working by tomorrow, man. Because, I mean, it took me a good hour just trying to figure out how to stream to the restream. And then, it, you know, it was working, but it wasn't streaming to YouTube. They did something today. They took away uh, how I used to be able to set up the streams. The link's not even there. Look at that spinning, rotating. Man, if that thing would have developed just a few more miles out here, we'd have a hurricane. They would have had to call it a hurricane. It's got the wind speeds. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call this a show. I'm getting really tired. Hope everybody has a good Thanksgiving. Much love. Thanks out there for the support. Everybody helped supporting us. And, uh, yeah, just, just uh, batting down the hatches. No fear. Keep calm. And just armor up, man. You'll make it through. Look at this. We're almost exactly 13 days away from the complete shutdown of the YouTube channels. Look, here in 26 seconds. So anyway, guys, I'll tr we'll try to get a site going to where you guys can find where the videos will be if they take us down. Anyway, we're going to start the song called Rise right at exactly 13 days left. So get ready to turn it up. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> 